Welcome to JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today live from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress. Beautiful, Monaco. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely yes. beautiful. Joining me is Jeff Barber, VP of Global Data Centers for Bloom Energy. Thanks yeah. for, yeah. Great to be here. Yeah, thanks Thank for, you. We see each other in the nicest of places, don't yeah. we? Hawaii, Hawaii, Monaco. Monaco, yeah. yeah. Uh, Exciting to to see you. How's the show? But you've been busy, right? You were Swamp. you were in Ireland before here. Uh, leads me to a question. Yeah. You know, why Europe? You're spending a, a bit of time here. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing new opportunities, new focus on the market? Absolutely, seeing uh, incredible demand, primarily for information and education on Bloom. But there's power issues all over, yeah. all over the world, but Europe specifically. Um, just spent a ton of time in Ireland speaking with customers, speaking with the government, with the regulatory bodies. Yeah, Bloom is uh, is definitely seeing an uptick in uh, in demand. We're yeah. we're installed in Italy today, so we have the European Union. Um, everything's done. All the certifications are are complete okay. or are almost complete. So yeah, it's been busy, and it came directly here from from Ireland to Monaco. Yeah, so busy, and yeah. and you're involved with. Um, some talks uh, around sustainability. I know you're yeah. an author in the next edition, next of, edition. of Greener mm -hmm. Data. So yep. we're, we're looking forward to hearing about that. But, you know, we talk about power shortages and the solution that, that Bloom can bring to the table for that. Yep. The, you know, one of the next questions around that is, okay, well, what about sustainability? And, and can you speak to that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is obviously a softball question when you're working mm -hmm. for, for Bloom. Right. Bloom is uh, sustainability, right? So we are on-site power generation through microgrids. Um, on day one, just deploying the system is typically 25, 30% lower carbon footprint than a, than a utility. Um, so that's a great advantage. We also today uh, enable carbon capture. So you could be zero carbon on day one with Bloom. We don't combust anything, so there's no particulates. Right. No socks or knocks makes things much easier from a permitting perspective. Um, and is, as we know, the, the the tenants and the developers are now very much paying attention to ESG metrics. So we get them way ahead of the game on day one. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, that's it's a good point. So much of what we talk about is around how do we measure success for this? Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and what are some of the ways we can we can do this? What are some of the actual actionable steps people can take. I know that in our industry, a lot of the data center providers are, are thinking about that. And, you know, one of the things I know that um, you think about is, is recycle your recycling program. So can you mm -hmm. speak to that? Yeah, I can. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, you know, day one, we're much lower carbon. So that helps with the, with the metrics, yep. with the ESG metrics. Uh, the bloom boxes are, are over 96% recyclable. Uh, these are when we reclaim fuel cells, either for service or, or end of life, those fuel cells are, are reused as actual actual new product. Mm -hmm. So one of the unique things about the product, there, there are no precious metals or rare earth metals in the device. There's nothing molten. There's, this is where a lot of our intellectual property is. We're able to, to deliver tens of megawatts of power to the facility yeah. with no rare earth metals, nothing, nothing toxic uh, coming out of the box. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty incredible. In fact, we just released our uh, 2022. So, the look back at 2022, our sustainability report, probably 400 pages of metrics. If anyone's interested, it's on our website. No it's, shortage of metrics. Yeah, I've been yeah. trying. I've been trying to get through the whole thing, but it's uh, no <laughs> shortage of metrics. That's right. for sure. Yeah. Uh, and, and I also understand you're up for an award. So some the work that you're being done is being recognized. Um, tell us about that. We'll be there tonight. We'll be Massive. fingers crossed. I mean, when I was notified of, of the, uh, the potential award, I, th I thought to myself, I mean, we... That really is validation of our legitimacy in the data center world. These are all the biggest players. Um, mm -hmm. Bloom is now deploying tens of megawatts with, with hyperscalers, with, with developers. Um, it's, it's an incredible honor just to be nominated, again, recognized as uh, the perfect solution for data center specifically. So yeah. I'm excited for tonight. I'm gotta, excited too. Got, got, the, got the new tux and got everything ready tux. to go. <laughs> Just because of sizing issues, it had to, get, had to be a new tux. Yes. Right, well. You know. COVID. We're going to blame COVID. <laughs> we'll blame COVID. Yeah. <laughs> COVID, yeah. Um, and, and so I know uh, one of your, uh, you know, the other benefits, uh, I don't want to miss bringing this up is just sort of time to deployment, time to power uh, for, for sure. your customers. And, and talk about that as a differentiator. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, as we know all throughout the, the world, um, there's issues with transmission. There's issues with generation from a centralized grid. Right. Bloom is distributed. Bloom is on site. Uh, these are actual devices. 
Um, you know, we have manufacturing in, in Delaware and Fremont, California. We don't have the lead times of a centralized grid, which many times are being quoted as four, five, six, sometimes 10 years hmm. for appropriate transmission and substation um, wow. uh, fixtures. So That's it's, um, yeah, we can accelerate, we can accelerate your facility coming online by literally years in most markets. Right. Mm-hmm. So important with the with the pace that our industry is moving, but also yep. the the pace uh, that people want to ad- adopt more sustainable solutions. Mm-hmm. You know, so- a- absolutely. And you know, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the um, the increase in densities and workloads with ML AI becoming right. more prevalent. Yep. Um, developers are looking for ways to boost the per rack uh, densities. Yeah. Uh, Bloom is the perfect solution for that, with with or without the utility. But if the utility happens to be there. We can supplement that existing power and, and get your get your per rack rates up there for the, the yeah. GPU workloads, the AI and ML workloads, which are yeah. becoming so prevalent. Yep. So is there anything that you can, you know, sort of give us a peek at, under the curtain of what's next in the short term, mm-hmm. you know, you know, the next sort of 12 months out? Anything you know, we yeah. should be watching for from Bloom? You know, I think uh, obviously um, green hydrogen is a huge push for Bloom. I mean, yeah. uh, aside from the power generation, we're the world's most efficient electrolyzer as well. There's a whole dedicated line of business to that that's, that's really coming up. Um, you know, Bloom is essentially hydrogen fuel cells today. So we're looking forward to when the day when there's green hydrogen that's distributable, you know, either, yeah. either blended in, which most countries are talking about right now. You know, we can take over 20% of a hydrogen blend today with no modification, but the, the device is future-proof. And when green hydrogen is available, it is a, a very simple procedure for us to, to upgrade that same box to, to pure hydrogen, in which case the only output is water vapor at that point. So true carbon free. It's, it's, it'll be exciting. Uh, and I would expect to see a continuation of, a, of, of densities and efficiencies. You know, yep. today we're at 55 kilowatts per, per device. I would expect to see that going up. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Yeah. It's, yep. it's very, very good time to be at Bloom. Yeah, for sure. it sounds like it. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it's always a pleasure to speak with you. For, for those of our viewers who may want to find you maybe at the show and, and say hi and, and connect, mm-hmm. um, where can they find you, first of all, but also second of all, for those that aren't here, where can they connect with you after yeah. the show? Well, as far as at the show, I, you'll find me hiding in a corner from now on because okay. it's been <laughs> back-to-back meetings. Yeah. For, for a couple of days now. Um, obviously, bloomenergy.com. You can find me on LinkedIn, uh, Jeff Barber, like, like you said. Yep. Um, we have a tremendous amount of resources on the Bloom website. As I mentioned, the sustainability report is a very valuable document yeah. as well. Good light read. Uh, good light read. Yeah. <laughs> good light read, yes, yes. absolutely. All right. Well, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Barb. Always a pleasure to speak with you. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV, coming to you live today from Data Cloud Global Congress in Monaco. Until next time. Bye-bye.